Hi everyone, welcome. Today I've chosen Amoda Ma from her book entitled Embodied Enlightenment. And I think it's time to begin to look at enlightenment as something a little bit differently than perhaps we've been led to believe in the past. And we can begin to look at this possibility of bringing enlightened moments into our existence and how that may help us flourish during these challenging times. You live your greatness through the work you do. Whether this work is sweeping a floor, building a house, writing a book, managing a multi-million dollar company, or bringing up a child, it is not what you do, but how you do it that makes all the difference. If awakening is to serve a real purpose in our lives, it needs to find new forms of expression through our everyday interactions. And if this awakening is to serve a purpose in the bigger picture of birthing a new humanity, it needs to engage us fully with the evolutionary impulse of existence. Enlightenment is no longer a secret reserved for mystics, nor a luxury indulged by the privileged Westerners seeking to become more spiritual. Awakening is a necessity if we are to survive and thrive. If enlightenment is to be of any use, it needs to come down from the mountaintop and get its hands dirty in the marketplace of human affairs. It's an uncompromising embracing of both the waves of phenomenal expression and the ocean of inner stillness that brings us into deep intimacy with the creative force of life. This deep intimacy doesn't mean you get lost in the story of the world, but it does mean that you're willing to wholeheartedly meet the world without a story. The new evolutionary human being is someone who is utterly anchored within the light of awakened nature, yet passionately committed to the bittersweet juiciness of earthly existence. Have a great day, everyone. May we all be well.